for the keynote. Thank you. Uh, so my name is Marco. I'm a content developer finder with uh, David and all these amazing guys here in the front, front line. And uh, today, uh, like you can see from my accent, I'm not from Iran here. I'm from Italy. And one of the first things I learned from um, coming to Australia is that uh, these two things are not exactly the same thing. I was trying to spread on a piece of bread, Vegemite, like it was Nutella, and it really worked well. Luckily now, I enjoy it a lot. Vegemite are not the right amount to use. Um, so today I'm going to talk about five things I learned about website performance and optimization. Uh, let's start with uh, number one, reduce the number of requests. So what's a request? A request is uh, pretty much like, your, like the browser of the user um, talking to the server and say, I need a logo, and the server is going to give you back the, here's the logo, and you can render it on the page. Um, so for example, you can see here on the left side, the normal website, it's in this case, it's Finder. Um, so you can see that pretty much every request the browser made is, um, is costing the user and the website like time. So if every image on the, on the website, in this case, all the icons and the log and things like that, they are separate requests, you can see that it's going to take time to reach the final user. Um, so what, what we can do is that maybe um, optimize the website by reducing this number of requests when needed. And for example, like if we have a CSS file or JS files, we can just like minify them and um, merge them in one. So you're going to reduce the number of requests and making the performance website uh, a lot better. Um, I'm lazy. I'm going to do it with the uh, grant and it does it for me. So it's, it's pretty easy. Um, so here you can see, well, just an example, it's not optimized, but you can see that if all of these icons were uh, separate Im um, images, you're going to see that every time it should be like separate requests and next time you can see like 400 milliseconds and so on. So it, like, it's not just one image, it's like the whole thing like adds up in there. Um, second thing we can do is optimize the images. You can see from before, these images, what you can use is uh, you can op optimize them with uh, for example, like in our case, we use like a find and use like a smart sheet, uh, WordPress plugin that does that for us with the middle and big. Or we can do it again with run, we got a run task that um, uh, like optimize the images for you. Um, what's different between these two images? Uh, they look pretty much the same, but uh, one is 175 kilobyte and the one is 75 kilobyte. Again, it's, it's all done in, um, in the back end. Um, but like the question is like do we actually need always images? We can do it uh, in other ways. SVG base 64, CSS3 uh, helps a lot with icons. Uh, or my favorite one is the icon font. So you can see here the example before. This is like all separate images, and uh, we can go a step further with uh, spriting all these images into into one big file. Uh, the problem with that is that for example like the the magnifier, you can see it's uh, white for the form and then blue at the top. Uh, if it's a sprite, it means like you need to create separate ones for uh, each one of them. What my favorite one is again like the font family, and you can do that with CSS, changing the uh, changing the size of the icon, the color, and it's gonna say again with just one address, the font family in this case. Um, you, like third tip is to use a CDN. Uh, what's CDN? CDN is a font delivery network, and the trick is that um, it's not. Uh, um, Instead of loading the images from your server, you're going to offload these images, up, upload them to another server, and in this case, it's the um, CDN, or, uh, and it's going to do the loading for you. Like it's, and, um, and one more thing that it's, it's good about CDN is that uh, it's uh, geolocating the user, and it's going to um, provide the image uh, nearest to the user. Um, uh, four tips is about measuring your changes before and after. Uh, here's like a ticket we had to find a, I guess a lot of people in the room can relate to is uh, coming from a product manager or uh, your CEO or whatever. Make website faster. I mean, it's, 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 it's always there. And uh, yeah, you can see here that uh, we had 32,000 uh, image requests um, in 5th of May. And uh, what we did is that you can see from the graph, we went from 32,000 at the beginning. And after this ticket at 12,000 images request. So we had a decrease of over 6%. Uh, why do it? Again, like it's, um, helps you understand the problems. And also like, 
I hear that looks pretty good on your performance review. So that, that good. <laughs> and uh, again, like use the right tools. Uh, you can see on the left side uh, a log file. Um, spending hours and hours on it. It's it's huge. You, like you, it's impossible to use uh, for this ticket. We use uh, Kibana, and it was like amazing. Just a few minutes, and you can visualize this graph and uh, all the requests in a uh, few seconds. And last thing, and I finish is like uh, have passion whatever you do, and uh, uh, like um, results they don't come overnight most of the times. And ask for help to your colleagues, friends, community in Sydney. They always keep it up. Thank you.